Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Amira Hall. I am a spiritual medium, a psychic energy healer, and I'm here to help you raise your vibration, tune into your intuition, and manifest a life you love. And today I'm here with September's mid-month channeled message for all the astrological signs. And it happens to be a full moon message. So thank you everybody for so your support here on the channel. It means so much to me when you like the video, if it resonates with you and you share and you subscribe, make sure you hit that bell so you're reminded with my upcoming and next videos. Keep in mind, this is a general message and it may or may not resonate with you. And if it does, that's fantastic. If it doesn't, you might wanna listen to one of my previous messages because not everybody is operating on the same timeline. So that might resonate more with you. So I want to dive right into today's message. I'm really excited to share with you as my guides are showing me this person huffing and puffing and blowing into a balloon and blowing and blowing in it. The balloon is stretching and it's getting bigger and it's getting bigger and it's getting tighter and then it goes pop, explodes. You know, for some of you, you might be at your breaking point. Um, there's something about to change. Some things are getting more and more uncomfortable for some of you. Um, and it may be just your thinking. Maybe you can't stand how you've been feeling lately. Or maybe it's just negative thoughts just keep recycling and you're just tired and you're pushed to a breaking point. Maybe you need to focus on some more positive thoughts or remove yourself from people that are so negative thinking. Maybe you're just tired of that same old, same old and you're ready to burst. For some of you, you're getting ready to take another step or take that next step. Perhaps you're just not clear on where that's leading or what that looks like yet. Maybe you can't even decide. And maybe you're just someone that's chasing a, your tail like a cat in circles. So after that balloon pops, I just sense so much relief and clarity and stillness as well as certainty. And for some of you, it's a joyful and delightful release as this welcome diversion, you know, an aha perhaps. Oh, well, you know, I want to share, I use the energy tool of exploding bubbles in the work I do. So you can just imagine in any area of your life that feels really uncomfortable, you can explode or pop bubbles or balloons or explode dynamite or fireworks. Um, if you're confused about anything or if you're frustrated around something or things aren't working your way, just start popping bubbles or exploding balloons and just see how that works. It's, it's a tool to help you release any frustration and stuckness. Uh, that's a highly technical term. <laughs> it just helps energy get moving or you might think of it like throwing a pebble in a pond and it just sends ripples. I want to share with you how this worked for me in the last week. You know, um, I drive a hybrid car and I took it for an oil change last spring and after doing that, this automatic feature that shuts the engine off when I come to a stoplight or a traffic signal, um, it stopped working. So I just ignored it, quite honestly. I couldn't handle dealing with it. So when I brought the car back to the mechanic last week, I decided to tell them about this feature that wasn't working. So they checked out both the sender of the signal and the receiver of the signal, and they said to me that both ends were seemingly working, um, and they couldn't find really anything wrong with it, but if I wanted to replace the whole mechanism, it was gonna be $3,000, and that was definitely not a plan I or approach I was gonna take. So the next day I started thinking about it, and I thought, you know, I'm gonna start exploding bubbles around this. And I had a magic wand and I was cleaning off the device in my mind every time I drove the car. I was just imagining cleaning it off and kind of having fun with it, you know, like let's play and let's see what works. <laughs> so I did it three days in a row. And after the third day, I went into the car the fourth day and to my surprise, the feature of shutting off the engine at traffic signals all of a sudden started working again. So I cleared the energy for whatever that was that was blocking the flow of the, the device working. So I had a good laugh and I'm still enjoying it. So you can too. Um, you know, again, the secret is being amused and being completely neutral. Like I didn't have any attachment if it worked or it didn't. 
So part of my the message from my guides today was, you know, to step back and stop trying to push things or hurry them along. You know, clearing the energy to clear the flow. That's how solutions and answers can come in. So wherever the energy in my case were it was blocked, whether it's the mechanics or my fear or of, of just something not working for me, that energy was blocking the flow and stopping it from working. So basically spirits saying to lose loosen up and let go of your need to control and to have everything work perfectly, you know, or have it be the way you want it to be or when you want it to be. You know, the harder we try and make something be or hold on to it, um, th the less it works and that you can't hurry things up from healing. You can't hurry things up from manifesting, but spirit is just, you know, you can't hurry things up from manifesting. You can't hurry things up from being fixed. And then Spirit showed me a picture of Tinkerbell. And my sense is that Spirit was saying, you know, we've got to be light on our feet. You know, have lightness in our heart. And just like when that balloon pops, you know, using tools or ways to clear the energy. Meditation helps, you know, being in the flow, exercising, raising your vibration with positive thoughts and, and stories and, and movies, and also being mindful of having that level of amusement at ourselves, maybe at how we keep stuck or how things are stuck around us or how other people are stuck. It's always easier to look at somebody else, isn't it? Um, you know, even for the most savvy energy worker, it's hard to keep watching the news and have a high vibration. So you might be mindful of how or how you're not paying attention to that news and how it's affecting you. Um, but whatever that does to, you know, plug into or make choices that are supporting you in these positive and happy vibes so that you can feel lighter and brighter. And, and that magnetic vibration will bring more of the same because the universe wants to conspire with you and attract the things that are deep and buried deep within your heart. Your job is to be in that flow. And what that requires is for you to let go. <laughs> and Spirit is saying that we've got to let go of these unconscious energies that are blocking us to be able to receive. You know, then Spirit showed me this beautiful, wide open magnolia flower. It had five petals and there was a clear golden center filled with pollen to create our future. You know, its fragrance was so delicate and it was uncomplicated and the petals are strong and they're well defined and their presence is bold. And what Spirit's encouraging us to embrace that message of being bold and simple and to being living strong and and you know some of you are living a life that looks like a muddled mess of paint and maybe it looks like a landscape that Monet painted and he was an impressionist you might want to google him to see the way his style was if you don't know who he is you know the lines are kind of blurry and fuzzy the pictures aren't aren't clear you get a sense of something maybe your life right now is looking a little blurry or fuzzy but in order for you to release that fuzziness or that energy that's not working for you to give you a clear and crisp path opening, you've got to clear some muddled mess that you've been hiding or that you can't even see yourself. And, and maybe popping the bubbles or clearing this, this painting so that you can have a whole new view or dimension of yourself that wants to be expressed. Because I feel like some of you are feeling or sensing that a whole new version of yourself, a whole new dimension is about to go pop and you're about to spring into a whole new expression of yourself. Maybe new talents or new dreams or, or some long buried desires of what you want to do. Some of you are so hazy about who you are and what you think and what you think your future is all about. You could be surprised. Some of you definitely don't know where you're going. Um, some of you know what's not working and there's a fear of the unknown. Like I know what's not working, but I don't know what's on the other side of that. And you don't know how to get into that flow of what wants to come in for you. 
You know, sometimes the fear of the unknown energy is what we need to release and, and to, to allow a grounded version of ourselves to come in so that we can start to receive. And then my guide showed me a picture of an icicle that was going drip, drip, drip. And Spirit was saying that the heat is being turned up and the pressure is building for us to release these frozen blocks of energy. And for some of you, staying stuck in that frozen energy is quite painful. Have you ever been really, really cold? It can be actually very painful. Uh, until that is, until you pass out of hypothermia. <laughs> and then it doesn't hurt at all. But um, for some of us are trying to numb out, perhaps, also. Um, but it's like being in a cave. Some of you have been isolated and maybe quietly secluded or protecting yourself as you're releasing what you think or you're not thinking, but just letting go. And perhaps for you, you're hiding, you know, perhaps you're resisting letting go and moving out of your cave. You know, that's all good. Um, but I can promise you when and as you release the pressure and get the support to release the energies that you don't know are there and get into your flow, um, you know, that is where all the magic will happen for you and the release. So with all of that said, I'd like to now dive into the soul wisdom cards, you know. So when I sit down and I channel the message for you, I... Um, I channel the message first and I write my notes and I take care of trying to get clear on what spirit's trying to tell me. And then when the message is finished, I shuffle these cards and I shuffle and shuffle and shuffle and then I pull two cards for you um, um, for the message for you for spirit to elaborate on what they're trying to tell us. So here's the very first message, the first card today love this card actually it's one of my favorites and so sitting with this card you know really the first thing that comes to my attention is the blue all the blue on this card and it just it feels like a deep blue and we're diving below the surface where we're diving is what's hidden the process of healing and releasing as we dive deeper into parts of ourselves that we've then we've accessed previously. You know, the dolphins at the bottom or throughout the card, you know, they're powerful, high intelligent healing beings and they travel in pods, but they're also in the flow and they're so gentle. I don't know anybody who doesn't like dolphins. And you know, what appears to be like a spiral of stained glass windows, each one of them has a star in them. And I was guided to count them and there's nine windows. So there's parts of us that are streaming through parts of ourselves. Could we be closing windows? Could we close those? Number nine refers to um, endings and closures um, in numerology. And could we be closing doors to open new windows? And, and the light of the star shining its bright light for each of us to follow as we are being guided with our angels and the Supreme Being, God, the Creator. You know, then I see there is this radiant diamond, you know, at the core of this yellow cup in the center. And that's just talking to me about the soul, the purity, joy within our heart and the core of who we are and that diamond radiant light. But yet there's a stream or a, a train of other gems that are streaming out of the core of that and I just feel that's what the talents and the new versions of ourself that want to be expressed and and extracted from the core of who we are and so there's just so much going on in that card um, and now for card number two God, this is so interesting. You know, here in this card, that black wooden statue in the foreground, you know, it has no arms. Perhaps the old ways of doing things are falling away, or maybe you're being cut, maybe they're being cut off from us, or maybe you've extended yourself in ways that you're being cut off from, and maybe your flow has been cut off. But whatever that is, the arms are your creative channels, and that's your ability to create. You're surrounded by that radiant diamond necklace. You know, we're being challenged to incorporate these multifaceted aspects to ourselves and our beings and going deeper 
And you know, there's a faceted gemstone around the head and it just speaks to me about this sweet new growth and inspiration and expression. You know, there's three upside down vases or vessels at the top right there and that they're out of place and they're suspended and it just feels awkward, you know. Some of you might be feeling awkward or uncomfortable. Maybe your vessels are empty. Maybe you've given all you can give. Maybe you've released what you think all that you can release. And maybe you're just suspended, you know, and not sure where to go. You know, there is a cave-like setting there in the background. Perhaps that's pointing to you being isolated from the world or feeling cut off from old ways of being from a version of yourself maybe that wants to come in because you see those pictures on the table there on the bottom you know I feel like it's trying to show you that some of the old versions of yourself are no longer working and how you framed yourself or your life perhaps no longer fits perhaps how you've perceived yourself and what you want to shift into how you see yourself is different um, how you want to see yourself is going to be shining a whole new light of day um, you know also those succulents in the front that's just trying to push up and push us through you know into new growth and it's saying that we want to be seen spirit wants us to you know shine bright like a diamond spirit saying shine bright like a diamond you know I'm I'm really really feeling touched with that message for some reason it's really whoo it's got a fiery faceted um, resonance to it I hope you're feeling what I'm feeling right now and maybe you'll just let that diamond light simmer in through your channels uh, while you sleep tonight so with that said I'd like to conclude our my message today um, this if this resonates with you give it a thumbs up um, I'd love to hear your comments and how you're experiencing the shifts and changes or maybe some blocks that you're feeling uncomfortable with um, please subscribe if you haven't already so that you get notifications of the next videos if you're looking for some private sessions or having some clearing and or looking for some support and clearing the energy um, the email address is amira at amirahall.com or the link for private sessions is below and i'll look forward to seeing you on my next video sending you many many blessings for abundance and some magic over the next few weeks uh, amira really uh, some amazing things are happening like uh, i've never closed i've never ever closed uh, a, such a big deal that uh, I just managed to close up and that really brought a lot of my approaches like my dad and all this thing to such a level where where it's not that serious as it used to be well it is a bit uh, cranked up now but it's not as serious as it used to be and uh, really like uh, the work that I do has got stronger I mean, like, results have to come faster on people, and sometimes I just sit there and, uh, like, the, my clients are seeing bigger results than I see on myself, and I'm like, what the hell? Like, I worked on them, and they're happier than I am. Well, is this, is this something crazy thing happening? Oh, but anyway, God bless their souls as well. So, really great things are happening, and, um, I mean, like, I, I really, really, I'm, I'm really grateful. And I uh, seriously, when I hired you, I mean, like, when I was uh, spending the money, now I actually played blind. I played a big rule. Like, I, all I had was the power two thousand. I said, I'm going to take this risk and see what's going to happen. And it just multi-folded and just rushed into my life. And it's really amazing. Thank you so much. It's really amazing.